Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this four part series, we're taking a look at Waves Ships Omnichannel. In the first episode, I gave you a very quick overview to give you an idea of what Ships Omnichannel has to offer. In the second video, we put it to work, mixing a live multi-track drum recording, overheads, kick, snare and floor tom, and a drum bus. In this third episode, we're gonna be taking a look at bass guitar and two electric guitars, starting with the bass. Let's hear what it can do. Now, it's a DI bass, so it doesn't really have much interest to it. So let's add some saturation. Straight away that sounds beefier, which is nice. Push it a bit further. Yeah, it's starting to get nice and crispy. Perhaps too much, back it off a bit. Let's see if we can just give it a little bit more weight with some EQ. filter as well. Knock off some of the highs just to focus the low end. That's nice. And let's have a go with some compression. Opto setting this time. I don't want anything too aggressive. That's nice. Player's got a really nice touch. He's well balanced already at his fingers, so didn't need to go too mad with the compression. Before. That's better. Sounded just a little bit too nasal and boring before. Now it's got purpose body, weight, and it sits nicely with the drums as well, which we mixed using the Shep's Omni Channel. Now let's have a quick look at the electric guitars. Starting with the wah. And I think we're gonna need something quite aggressive, shall I say, with the compression. Just to catch those bits that stick out dynamically. Let's go back around that again. Sounds nice, but it sounds a little bit sunk in the mix. Let's start with some colour. Just a touch. And I reckon maybe some EQ post the compressor. Just add a bit of brightness. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's move across now to the other guitar. Again, compression, FET. Have a little play with the filters. High pass it. Yeah, very little that actually needs doing, if I'm honest with these guitars. They uh, they sit pretty well on their own. Just needed maybe just a bit of colour. It's working for me, that's all coming together quite nicely. In the next episode, we're gonna be taking a look at mixing the lead vocal using this as well. Hope you guys got something from this so far, and I'll see you in the next video.